I'm Holly Clegg. Welcome to my rush hour recipes in my kitchen today. Okay, a lot of people love to barbecue. You have husbands at barbecue. You have special barbecues. When it comes to barbecue, I get stuck with it. So the way I like to barbecue is do it indoors. And I love briskets because to me, they're just always so flavorful and the essence of when you're having some kind of barbecue. So anyway, this is also a crock pot recipe, which is wonderful. Start with the brisket. I always get it trimmed at the grocery store. Then I usually come back and trim it again. And we're gonna look at this sort of as a rub. This is just garlic powder. And honestly, you can use as much as you want because it's garlic powder. And we're gonna use a little chili powder. It gives it a little smoky flavor. Just season it up real nicely. And then a little pepper, black pepper. We better be careful on this. Sprinkle it in. And then we're gonna put it in our crock pot. Now, I think these crock pot, um, these bags are wonderful because they make cleanup so easy. So I used to, you know, usually use them, but this can be cooked in the oven uh, at like a low temperature for four or five hours. One last ingredient, some Diet Coke, and that sort of tenderizes the meat and makes a good sauce. Or we're gonna put it like this, cook it, now for this recipe, the secret's in the sauce because it's a mango barbecue sauce. So come over here. A simple thing to do, we've sauteed just some onions. I'm gonna add a little ketchup, a little lemon juice. So it has all the components of a barbecue sauce, a little Worcestershire sauce. And my favorite star ingredient, it's mango chutney. Now, if you've never had mango chutney, you can find it in the grocery store, usually where the um, ketchup is, not where the jellies is. It's a chutney and it gives it a spicy, sweet, hot you know, flavor. Oh, so good. Just let this cook 10 minutes and you have dinner. Kitchen 101 has a crock pot section in it because I know so many of you like to cook in a crock pot. And the only difficult thing is when you're home and you smell it all day. Briskets make wonderful leftovers. Honestly, this is my favorite. This is like brisket tacos. You can make brisket quesadillas. I always make extra. Briskets freeze well, and you can make them ahead of time, freeze them, then you can take off the fat. And what is a barbecue without my favorite s'mores cookies? This recipe will be on my website, and you're gonna wanna get it, and you can find the recipe to the barbecue, everything on the link below. Well, now you're ready for your barbecue any time of year, and you can look good in the kitchen.